The year was 1996. Then President Nelson Mandela signed the new constitution into law. That same year, thousands of South Africans applied to gain access to a home built by Madiba's administration. But today, some of the elderly are still waiting for the keys, while in some areas, people born in 1996 already have RDP homes. Graham Robenheimer reports from Gauteng's East Rand. 1996, we were Sixty-two-year-old Doris Swane is among some 80 Davyton residents deeply frustrated that they've yet to receive an RDP home. This is the area of Chief Albert Latuli near Davyton where the city of Akuraleni is building hundreds of RDP homes. But whistleblowers claim that these houses are being invaded and sold to youngsters, leaving those on the waiting list in the lurch. Zwane's friend also applied in 1996 and was only approved last year. Disability evidence here that a person born in 1996 got a home before these women. But Akuruleni's housing head insists this may just be a case of a sole claimant dying and leaving the home to their children. Our allocation indeed has prioritized uh, the elderly. The city also admits it's fighting a court battle with those who invaded homes. We have a total of about 49 houses that have been invaded. We have seen at Chief Albert Lutuli alone. We have since uh, allocated 163. Uh, and uh, the project continues and uh, our case in the courts uh, with the 49 respondents which we will be uh, evicting in a not so distant future. The Metro has also revealed its open criminal cases of corruption where RDP homes have been illegally sold. But for now, that may be little comfort for these women whose 24 years of patience is running out. Graham Robenheimer, Davyton.